Hey, hi everyone. My name is Ravindra, and I am a solution architect. I welcome you to my YouTube channel. Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to add an image to an PDF. Okay, so you can be see this is a my PDF. Okay, I receive an email. Let's say open the same file in the new page. Okay, so you can be see this entire thing we are created dynamically. Okay, I use here Chat GPT to create this uh, HTML view. Okay, this colors and other things. This name. Okay. This email ID, all the things are coming dynamically, okay. And also, we are added image here dynamically from the SharePoint, okay. So let's I go here, okay. So this is my record. You can be see in the SharePoint, and the attachment is added, okay. So I added image as an attachment, okay, and created a Power Automate flow here, okay. So you can able to see here, okay. So this is Power Automate flow. So let's see how to create this Power Automate. Power Automate, okay. Let's go to the create. Let's create. Click on the automated cloud flow. Okay. Let's give the name to our flow. Okay. Create PDF with image. And let's select our trigger here. When item is created or modified, let's click on the create action here. Okay. So let's give the action. Select the site here. Our site is here patch. Okay, let's I select give the list name. Okay, so it is mock data. Okay, so this is my list name. Let's click on the show all. Of ten, let's I change the interval here one. Okay, and uh, let's add one more step here. Okay, we need the here attachment. So we use here get attachment action. Okay, from the Power Automate get attachment. Okay, so it is still not showing. So let's we go in the SharePoint. Let I scroll it down. Scroll it down. Get attachment content and one more action we need here. Get attachment. Okay. So get folder data. Get attachment content. Get attachments. Okay. So this is action we are get here. Okay. Let's do the same thing. Select the site. Okay. Let's select the list name here. Okay. So my list name is mock. Data. This data I taken from the mock API. Let's give the ID. Okay. Here it is required higher ID. Okay. If you go in the dynamic content, here is two types of IDs present. Okay. ID. Here is identifier is also present, but we not need this. Okay. We need the first one, capital ID. Okay. So let's I go and click on the add. Now we want <coughs> get attachment content. Okay. Content. We required content, so let's I searching here. Get attachment content. So let's click here. Use the site name here. Okay. So site name is here. Same patch example one. List name is same. Mock data. So let's click here. Okay. So in this second ID. Okay. In the get attachment file content, we required this one capital, and here we required small ID. Okay. Here you can be see file identifier. Okay. So this is file identifier. Let's I click here. So it will automatically go into and loop. You can able to see, okay. So let's click here, okay. Click on the add action, okay, and use here compose, okay. Let's click on the add compose action, okay. And in the compose, we need base. We need to convert our file content, okay, this attachment content into a base 64, okay. So let's I go and click on this power FX icon, okay. Type here base. 64 okay in the base 64 i simply click on this dynamic content and click on the attachment content here okay and just click on the add okay let's click outside so this error we gone let's rename this to the base 64 okay let's add one more action okay compose okay. compose in the compose let's um, give the name to the html table okay or we can simply say HTML page. Okay, so this is HTML page. Let's give the input here. Okay, so before giving input, let's I go to the Chat GPT. Okay, I think you can able to see my Chat GPT page. Okay, so from the start, okay, let's I refresh this page for you, and let's use the prompt here. Okay, okay, now it's open. So in the Chat GPT, let's I use the simply prompt. Okay, kindly help me to create an HTML page. Okay. With the CSS in the PDF format, and here is here is 
dynamic content content from power automate okay automate so chat gpt is very smart he will understand everything just i click on the send action okay so it is giving me an entire html page you can able to see okay so let's i go and simply copy this okay so he given entire thing okay but not added the image okay so for how to add image i will guide you so simply i copy this first let's give prompt to the chat gpt okay so add an image okay so i want to add image with this 64 for file content okay let's i click on the enter so it is giving output okay so you can able to see we are getting an formula here, okay image src data emd png base 64 trigger body image and alt is dynamic image okay so let's i copy this code okay simply control c okay now let's go to the power automate here okay in the power automate i just remove this okay we are copied it from here okay so we are getting all the parameters by default like you can able to see email full name company name gender everything is pre built we are getting okay so let's uh, add one more action now okay click on add action click on the create file create file okay in the create file simply use the path okay so let's i select path here this image i need for the power app so let's i give a power app let's use the file name okay file name is uh, let's we give some unique name so it will not complex so let's we use utc now okay open bracket close bracket let's click on the add dot html okay because this is an html file here simply i go in html tag file content is simply html output let's we click on the add action and click to convert file let's i utilize this action here convert file okay let's use the unique file identifier okay so we have unique file identifier let's click on here dynamic content okay and here it is unique file identifier okay target type is pdf we not have to interact with this let's click on one more action create okay and here simply use send send an email v2 okay so in the html let's i explain you this concept okay this is new to all of you okay so here you can be see what we are doing simply we are using the data png image okay but here is this output is missing okay so let's i go here okay in this click on this dynamic content and click on the output okay base 64 output we are getting here okay so what basically we are doing this is the html format okay if any file is present in base 64 so in the html it will convert that base 64 value okay and we will use the display image name here okay so by using this we are getting very dot pdf okay this complete image with the image name as well image 111 yes okay so let's i go to my power automate flow now okay uh, in the send an email action they are asking for sign in let's i sign in okay so i sign in done successfully let's i add the name here okay whom we need to send so in this case let's i send it to myself okay let's uh, give the name here automated pdf okay video from power automate simply let's uh, give same body okay let's click on the okay. so this add click on this add new item okay just click on the dynamic content to give the name okay just give the file name here and the content okay so simply just give this content here okay so that's all friends let's click on the save okay let's click on the test here okay my power automate flow is saving okay let's click on the test i already tested my flow once okay let's click on here and click on the test okay our test is running so let's see is run successfully or not let's i go to the outlook okay so i receive an image here okay pdf okay so let's i click here click on the download and let's i open this image okay 
sorry pdf so you can be see friends okay we are get a file same pdf file okay with everything is dynamic in this way you can add an image to an pdf friends thank you have a nice day to you keep learning keep growing if you have any doubt you can ask me in the